played the bulk of his high school ball at De La Salle, native of Lafayette, California. There's an example of the first pitch swinging. Fair foul, or what is it? Foul ball. Called him out. Or they are indeed calling him out. So the indication of the Clemson dugout we could hear through our microphone was that it was ruled a fair ball, and there's something that Eric Bankage used at Michigan that Robert uh -oh. Woodard picked up on. Noah Furch cranks one well high hit. and deep to left, and it's gone. And the second baseman for the 49ers, fifth home run of the season, puts Charlotte on top. Well, it's a fastball that we talked about that sinking action that Billy Barlow needs to get, and it was just up. It was belt high. That ball needs to be about six inches lower. And that ball was hit hard, 107 mile an hour exit velocity. Really good swing. Pretty much down the middle. For Barlow on the season, fourth long ball he's given up. Charlotte playing their 37th game as a team. That's their 37th home run. Being the hero in that one. That is not an easy place to win. Good team, number nine in the country, going into that series. This is hit high and deep to right. Mathis back, Terrace Wall looks up, and it's gone. Back to back home runs. Oh. One to left field, one to right. Bain, consecutive home runs and as many at bats. That's his sixth of the year, and it's 2 nothing. Boy, he's sitting back so well on pitches and driving the ball where it is pitch, and that ball was away, up and away a little bit. Looked like a slider, not just, just a pitch that was kind of over the middle part of the plate. And again, he inside outed that ball really well, and it carried right out of here. Tiger pitching's done a nice job. Opponents hitting just 229 against them. 2 2. Chopped to third, having to back up on it. And across Stallman, bad throw. Korea couldn't Cronow. High in Minnesota, nickname Eskimos. Jared Purify wraps it into left field, hard single. Boy, every time you see him come to the plate or handle a ball, in the field, you can see why he was the Michigan Player of the Year yeah, as a high school senior. It's D.H. Tristan Bassetta playing left field, actually, and right back up the middle and past the shortstop to Franco. They'll wave over top, Ooh. and Clemson gets on the board. A hard hit Ooh. single, and now Langhorn is still down. Caught a piece of him as well. They just want to rest him tonight and hope he can come back and feel pretty good. Sky to center field. Back on it is the center fielder, Hare. He makes the catch right in front of the terrace. The lead base runner, Purify, has gotten all the way to third. He retreats to second. That looked a lot better off the bat. That's it's, it kind of Now, for up. some reason, they're allowing the runners to advance, and I don't know why. Did the ball get away when it was tossed back in? Well, they're calling a balk now. And that means uh, the balk before the pitch, so oh. scratch all that, and Blouser will step back in the box. Let's see what it is. Let's see if we can find a flinch. Yeah, just a little bit of a movement there. Two and two, probably not bunting here. And a swing and a miss. Good slider. Jacob Gerald has hit well when he's been in there. His playing times increase. Hard shot, fair ball down the left field line. Purify scores easily. Coming around is Bassetta. Tigers answering a two spot at the top of this second inning with a three spot so far in Jacob Gerald, the two run double. It's a 3 2 game. Deep into the game Sunday without scoring, but didn't hang their heads, and that gets away from Hobson. Runner will advance, and Gerald will now stand at third. Canarella gave it a ride the other way. Wind blowing in tonight from center. That's a looper. It's going to fall in fair down the left field line. 4 0 game. Bain gets it back in. Two out RBI double for Cam Canarella. Tigers adding on. He delivers a single here. He'll have his 22nd run batted into the season. Backhanded Furch. Correa couldn't dig it out. Won't be an RBI, but Canarella will come across. Mathis will end up at second on the E4. It's a 5 2 Clemson lead. 2 2 coming to the Tigers' top power threat. Blake Wright. Line. Past the shortstop into left. It'll score another run. Here comes Mathis. Wright tried to take second. Now he's in no man's land. Stallman chased him back. Correa throwing ahead. Tag will be made. 
And the Tigers are retired here in inning number two. But to like what he saw in that second inning, because that's the signature kind of offense he wants his team to have. That's going to land fair and head into the right field corner. Making the turn is Bianchina. And he'll slide in with the third hit of the ball game. Opportunity to try to get one back right here with one away and a man in scoring position. And through the right side, Mathis charging. They're going to wave the runner. Here comes the throw and Bianchina too fast. And it's a 6-3 game. Hitting third baseman. That caught him. And it's going to be first and second now and still just one away. Now he's the first baseman for the Charlotte 49ers. Gets away from Jarrell. Hector will advance to third. Right behind him. 10, 15 feet away. No chance to get the runners. 2-0. Grounded to short. Runner at second will be chased back. Correa's out. Hector comes across with a fourth run of the game for the 49ers. RBI number 25 on the year for Correa. Payoff pitch. Little number. And Malstadt, the underhand. Gets the only batter he faces out of the bullpen. And still a lot of baseball to be played in the regular season and conference tournaments. But Eric Bakich's team right now projected to be a top six seed. And, of course, that would mean not only would you get a regional here at Doug Kingsmore Stadium, but they'd be able to show off this beautiful ballpark as a super regional host. And bases, a couple. And a leadoff single here. Carson Bain right back from where it came. He's two for three. In Columbia, South Carolina was a number three team. Man on the move and lined into center field by Hobson. Making the turn, heading to third is Bain, and now first and third. One away here at the top of the seventh. Well, he's got that opportunity right now with a man at third base. Less than two outs. And a bunt, safety squeeze. Malstadt going to try to outrun DeFranco, and he tags him on his way to the bag. Bain coming home to make it a 6-5 game. Franco almost had a bunt base hit, given the sacrifice in the RBI anyway. Squeeze play, perfectly placed bunt. Great job by Malstead yeah. to get over there. Showed some athletic ability. I don't think he was going to win a sprint against the speedy to Franco. Johnny Sutrick. Outfielder, hard shot, first base. Nice job. Obertop. One pitch, and Reed gets it done. Mathis. Reached on an error and scored back in the six-run second. Well Runs into that one. High and deep to left. Bain back at the wall. And it's gone. Alden Mathis taking a 1-2 pitch the other way for his seventh home run of the year. And the Tigers build the lead back to two runs. Another big two-out hit for, for the Tigers. And it's a fastball that's... Here you see the... The delivery, the ball's outside, and he just stays on it. Off the bat, it looked like he might have gotten under it too much, but Bain runs out of room, and we could eventually see him. On the right side, purify. And he gets him by a step. A nice job. Rolled on the right side, and Stallman retired by Overtop for out number two. But still outside. Swing and a miss. Good work by Reed Garris out of the bullpen. Eric Backage's Tigers welcome the Pitt Panthers here to Doug Kingsmore Stadium this weekend. Hope we have some good weather for that series. Clemson in Georgia coming up. When you have, when the guy's walking people. And... Hard grounder to Franco ranging to his right. Strong throw. Correa unable to dig it out of the dirt. And they're going to say the ball went out of play, so Hinderleiter will be awarded second base. Was scouting him for Clemson, and Corbin was still on the Clemson staff then. Purify, that's got to hurt, but he'll jog down to first. Runners on the move, throw to third, and it gets by. Popping up and coming home, Hinderleiter. It's an 8-5 game, a fourth error in the ball game for Charlotte. That'll go against Hobson, the catcher. At second, still just one away. That gets a by Hobson, and Purify moves to third. Really good jump. Now well, Bassetta on a 3-2 pitch was trying to put it in play, and it's out number two. I understand that, yeah. but that's pretty remarkable. Yeah, and he chops it to the right side, and that'll do it for the Tigers here in the eighth. Backdoor slider. Yeah. 
And Gerald the catcher had to catch that previous pitch with his backhand and that time. Swing and a miss. 94 miles an hour for out number one. To come into this game with a save on the line again the opposite way again Wright tries to make the catch and he does. Third straight time that Hare has flied out or popped out to the third base for the Tigers. That was the very best play that Blake Wright has made on the night. Popped him up. Infield. Hinderleiter. And that'll do it. Win number 30 in the books for the Clemson Tigers who improved to 30 and 6.